we're going to talk about measuring to the nearest quarter inch. The first thing we need to realize is what the lines on the ruler mean. So I have a ruler here. This ruler is a six inch ruler. So the zero end is here at this end and the six inch end is over here at this end. Um, the longest lines on the ruler are the inch lines. So we see we got a long line on the one, there's an inch line, a long line on the two, an inch line, a long line on the three, an inch line, so on and so forth. Now we also have, and there's not a line there, but it's the edge of the ruler. On some rulers, it's a long line on the zero line. So those are your whole inch lines, um, which zero is technically not a whole inch, but everywhere else, your longest lines on the ruler are whole inches. Now, the second longest lines on the ruler are your half inch lines. So your half inch lines fall between your whole inch lines. And when I put those in, you'll notice that I split every inch right in half. So the distance between this line and this line is a half inch. This line and this line is a half inch. The distance between any of those two, any of those lines is a half inch. So we have zero, then we have half an inch, then it goes one inch, one and a half inches, two inches, two and a half inches, and three inches. Now our next smallest lines on our ruler are the quarter inch lines. So they're the third smallest. And these will split all of the half inches in half. going here on the third smallest lines they're the quarter inch lines and so if all the if the half excuse me if the quarter inch lines split the half inches in half that means it splits the inches into four parts so from here to there is an inch when I put those quarter inch lines in there that split that into four parts that's why it's called quarter inches because there's four quarters in a whole. Think about a dollar. Four quarters make up one dollar. So what I have here is zero inches. Then this here is a quarter inch. Then a half inch. Then three quarters of an inch, because it's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Uh, as we talked before, two fourths is equal to one half. So one quarter inch, one half inch, or you could say two quarters, three quarters of an inch, and then four fourths or four quarters is one whole. That would go one and one quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, then two inches, two and one quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, three inches. And the final one we have is the smallest lines on our ruler here are the eighth inch lines. Now these ones split all those quarter inches in half. So these split the inch into eight parts. Now the reason that these eighth inch lines are important to us is because they will help us measure to the nearest quarter inch. And that's what our goal is today. Our goal is to measure to the nearest quarter inch and those eighth inch lines are going to help us measure to the nearest quarter inch. So our longest lines are the inch lines, second longest lines are the half inch lines, third longest lines are the quarter inch lines, and the shortest lines on our ruler are the eighth inch lines. Now some rulers do go down to sixteenths of an inch or 30 seconds of an inch, and in some cases all the way down to 60 fourths of an inch. So they have smaller lines yet. But our rulers only go down to eight eighths of an inch. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually measure to the nearest quarter inch. So first thing you need to do is make sure you line the zero line of your ruler up with the edge of what you are measuring. So I'll line the zero line up and then I make sure that everything's lined up there. And at this point, I'm going to draw a road around the end of what I'm air, of what I'm measuring. 
So I'm measuring to the nearest quarter inch. So I'm going to find the closest quarter inch line to the edge of that arrow. Now my quarter inch lines are the third smallest. So that's an inch line, that's the longest. There's a half inch line, that's the second longest. And there's a quarter inch line, that's the third longest. So I'm gonna put a line in there. Now, after I put the line on the quarter inch line, the closest quarter inch line to the end of my arrow, then I'm going to put a line on the um, closest inch line or half inch line to what I'm measuring. And when I put that on there, my road is going to want to surround what I'm measuring. So that arrow tips right there, it's going to be inside the road. So I build that road around what I'm measuring and that road should be one quarter inch wide. Then I take and I put a dotted line right on the eighth inch line. Now, if you don't have a dotted line on the eighth inch line, you did something wrong. When you put your dotted line, it should be on the smallest line on your ruler. It should be on the eighth inch line. Now, from here, I want to label what the sides of my road are. This side of my road is, that's three inches. So that will be three and one fourths of an inch, three and a quarter. And this one here will be three and a half. So at this point, I can remove my ruler. And all I do is I look and see. If I'm on the right side of the road with the tip of what I'm measuring, it goes, it's this one. If the tip of what I'm measuring is on the left side of the dotted line, then it goes to the smaller one. My tip of what I'm measuring is right there. So it will go to three and a half inches. So three and a half inches. Another way to show inches is with two little uh, lines there. That means inches. One little line means feet. All right, let's go down to our next one. We'll do two more of these here real quick. So I line up the zero line. First step, line up the zero line. Next step, I want to put a line on the closest, on the closest quarter inch line to what I'm measuring. So right here is the closest quarter inch line to what I'm measuring. And then after I put my quarter inch line down, I'm going to build a road around the point of my arrow and the other side of my road will either be on a half inch line or a whole inch line. So this will be on a half inch line. And then I'm going to put down my dotted line on the eighth inch line and I label my sides. So this is two inches, that'll be two and a quarter. Two and one fourth. If that's two and one fourth, that makes that a half inch line, two and one half. I can remove my ruler and I see that my tip of my arrow is on the right side of uh, the dotted line. So I'm closer to two and a half inches. And last one here. Measuring to the nearest, measuring to the nearest quarter inch. Line your zero line up with the edge of the arrow. Then you're going to want to draw, make your road. The first line needs to be on the closest quarter inch line to the end of what you're measuring. So right there's a quarter inch line, the third smallest line that I'm measuring. Then I have to make uh, the other side of my road, it's going to surround what I'm measuring. So that second side of the road will either fall on an inch line or a half inch line. So I'm going to put it on the half inch line here. So that surrounds what I'm measuring. Once again, that road needs to be a quarter inch wide. So it needs to be a quarter inch wide. And then I put a dotted line on the eighth inch line because that eighth inch line is right in the middle. It'll be able to tell me which side what I'm measuring is on. This arrow point, oops, sorry, <laughs> I have to label those. So this side here is three inches, three and a half, three and three, sorry, three inches, three and a quarter, three and a half. This side here, one more quarter inch, so it's three and three fourths. 
We can also call it three and three quarters. Either way will be fine. And as I can see, I can remove my ruler at this point. I can see that my arrow point is closer to this side here. So that is uh, this line measured to the nearest quarter inch is three and three quarters of an inch. So step one, line your zero line up. Step two, build your road. The first side of your road is going to be on a quarter inch line. The next side of your road is either going to be on an inch line or a half inch line. Then you make a dotted line on the eighth inch line. Then you label each side of your road. And at that point you can remove your ruler, whatever side of the road uh, the edge of what you're measuring is closest to is the measurement to the nearest quarter inch for the thing you're measuring.